Timeless Concepts from Physics Helpline. This is a video tutorial series through which we will sharpen our problem solving skill. First, we will analyze the problem on hand to find the related concepts. Then using these, we will develop a method which will produce the solution. This will help the students aspiring to get into IIT to understand the much needed advanced theories and applications in physics. In this video tutorial, we will discuss a problem on the oscillations of a body connected to a network of three springs. The question is as follows. A body of mass M is connected to three identical springs OA, OB and OC, each of force constant K as shown in the figure. The outer ends of the springs are fixed at points A, B and C. The springs OA and OB are symmetric with respect to spring OC such that angle AOB is equal to 2 theta. Initially, the springs are relaxed. Now the body is displaced slightly towards C and released. Find the time period of the resulting oscillations if angle AOB is 90 degrees and 120 degrees. Before proceeding to solve the problem, let us recall the related concepts. When a body of mass M connected to a spring of force constant K is displaced from its mean position by a small distance x, then the restoring force acting on it is given by F is equal to minus Kx. The negative sign indicates that the restoring force acts in a direction opposite to the displacement of the body. Therefore, acceleration of the body is given by A is equal to F by M, which is equal to minus K by M into X. When the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to displacement and directed towards mean position, then the motion of the body is simple harmonic. For a simple harmonic oscillator, the time period is given by t is equal to 2 pi root over x by a. Now we are in a position to solve the problem using these concepts. First, we will derive an expression for the time period in general for angle AOB is equal to theta and then apply it to specific angles given in the question. The body is displaced from O to P such that OP is equal to x. Due to this, spring OC is compressed by x. From symmetry, we assume that the elongations produced in springs OA and OB are equal. Let it be equal to x dash. Therefore, tension in spring OC is T is equal to Kx and tensions in springs OA and OB are T dash is equal to Kx dash. To establish the relation between T and T dash, we proceed as follows. In the figure, D is the midpoint of AB. Now, in triangle OAD, let OD is equal to Y, OA is equal to L, and AD is equal to A. When the body is displaced from O to P, Y changes by DY, which is equal to X, L changes by DL, which is equal to X dash, and the value of A remains unchanged. From right angle triangle OAD, we have L square is equal to Y square plus A square. Differentiating, we get 2L DL is equal to 2Y DY plus 0. We have put the derivative of a square is equal to 0 since a is a constant. Therefore, we have dl is equal to y by l into dy. Now, dl is equal to x dash, y by l is equal to cos theta, and dy is equal to x. This gives x dash is equal to x cos theta, which implies t dash is equal to t cos theta. Now, to find the net restoring force acting on the body, we proceed as follows. The three forces acting on the body are T along OD and T dash along OA and OB. While stating this, we have used an approximation. The forces are acting on the body when it is at P. Therefore, the directions of these forces should be along PD, PA and PB. But the displacement X of the body is so small that we assume the forces to be acting along OD, OA and OB without any loss of accuracy. Therefore, we resolve T dash into components along and perpendicular to OD. The two components T dash sin theta perpendicular to OD cancel out being equal and opposite and the two components T dash cos theta along OD add up to give 2 T dash cos theta towards right. Therefore, the net restoring force acting on the body is F is equal to T plus 2 T dash cos theta along PO. Putting T dash is equal to T cos theta we get F is equal to t plus 2t cos square theta, which is equal to t into 1 plus 2 cos square theta. Putting t is equal to kx, we get 
एफ इज इक्वल टू के एक्स इंटू वन प्लस टू का स्क्वायर थिटा दिस इज द रेस्टोरिंग फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द बॉडी वेन इट इज एट पी इट एक्ट टूवर्ड्स राइट अलॉन्ग पी ओ वेर ओ इज द मेन पोजिशन ऑफ द बॉडी दिस फोर्स प्रोड्यूस एन एक्सलरेशन इन द बॉडी गिवन बाई ए इज इक्वल टू एफ बाई एम विच इज इक्वल टू के एक्स बाई एम इंटू वन प्लस टू का स्क्वायर थिटा अलॉन्ग पी ओ वी ऑब्जर्व दैट एक्सेलरेशन ए इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट एक्स एंड इट इज डायरेक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द मेन पोजिशन ओ of the body hence the oscillations are simple harmonic therefore its time period is given by t is equal to 2 pi root over x by a which is equal to 2 pi root over m by k into 1 plus 2 cos square theta this is a general expression obtained for angle aob is equal to 2 theta which can be applied to the specific angles given in the question as follows when angle aob is equal to 90 degrees theta is equal to 45 degrees therefore 2 cos square theta is equal to 1 which gives t is equal to 2 pi root over m by k into 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 pi root over m by 2 k when angle aob is equal to 120 degrees theta is equal to 60 degrees therefore 2 cos square theta is equal to 1 by 2 which gives t is equal to 2 pi root over m by k into 1 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 pi root over 2m by 3k